living 808. We are kicking off your morning with Duncan. John went over to Coppola Commons to hear what is special about this month. Hanging out at Duncan in Kapole with two very special people. We know Casey, and then the godmother of Living 808 is also God joining us. Mother. Yes, five years at Make a Wish as the president. This is awesome. Thank I thought you. she'd love that. You know that. that makes me sound really old. No, I know, but th it's okay. Actually, it... you said godmother, not grandmother. No, I said godmother. <laughs> okay. Yes, so, godmother. Okay. I wouldn't want to slap not on that television. Not grandmothers are old. This is, this is great, though. Uh, hanging out, and we're talking Make a Wish today. Yes. First, I want you to tell me a little bit about the partnership, this collaboration that you guys have with Make-A-Wish. Yes, we um, love Make-A-Wish Hawaii. We've been partnering with them for many years. We love um, everything that they do for our local Kiki from, you know, really just bringing joy and happiness to all of them and granting all their wishes, making their wishes come true. So um, we just saw it only fitting to take an opportunity for World Wish Month to celebrate and help fundraise for Make-A-Wish Hawaii. Yeah, okay, so Trini, let's throw it over to you real quick. Let's tell everybody a little bit about Make-A-Wish and World Wish Month. Sure, I just wanna say how grateful we are <laughs> Yes. for their partnership because truly we could not do what we do without the community's support and they have been a long time partner of ours helping make uh, wishes come true. Um, at Make-A-Wish Hawaii, our mission is to grant life-changing wishes for children with critical illnesses and we do that for children all across the state uh, from ages two and a half to 18 years old and we really believe and I have seen firsthand the power of a wish and how it really does transform lives. You know, it really helps uh, imagine when a child is diagnosed with a critical illness, their entire family families' worlds get turned upside down. So that's, I tell people, we're like the cool auntie and uncle that, you know, we show up and we, we bring some light into their lives. We try to give them something positive to look forward to. Uh, we give the child an opportunity to make a decision for their own because instead of soccer practices and dance recitals, they're going to doctor's appointments and, and going through treatment, and it's a very heavy time. So we like to bring some joy, some hope, some positivity into their lives, and we're so grateful for our partners that help us do that. We've had uh, the pleasure of meeting a number of children on our show, um, and it's so good to hear their stories and how well they've progressed through Thanks to Make-A-Wish. Mm -hmm. um, World Wish Month. Tell me about that. Very exciting. For the first time ever, we are celebrating World Wish Month in April. We've always celebrated the day of the very first wish, uh, which was for a seven-year-old boy named Chris Gracious in Arizona. Uh, he wished to be a police officer, and that that inspired this entire global movement of Make-A-Wish. Uh, but for the first time ever, we're doing a month-long campaign. So we've got lots of different activations throughout the month. Uh, we encourage people to go to our website, learn more about Make-A-Wish, how they can become a wish maker. Uh, wish makers are anyone that really that donate their time, talent, treasure to Make-A-Wish. And they're needed everywhere, all year long. But this is really a wonderful time to learn more about how we, what, what we do, why we do it, and how they can get involved. And that's exactly my next question. Yes. How do folks get involved with helping make wishes happen and uh, maybe get a nice little sweet treat at the same time? Yes. Yeah, so three different ways that our customers can get involved. They can, at any of our five Dunkin' restaurants in Hawaii, they can purchase these stars um, in any amounts that they want to and we'll display it, you know, in our restaurants. Um, they can also donate their change uh, or just, you know, donate cash to our donation canisters by our registers. Or lastly, my personal favorite. Here's is, the sweet treats. Yes. We have these customized Make-A-Wish donuts in the Make-A-Wish Hawaii colors, which is blue and white. And um, really, they could purchase it. And um, again, all the proceeds of all of this will go towards fundraising for World Wish Month. But this is my favorite because not only do you buy it, it's yummy. You could share it, you know, with your friends and family. It's a great way to start a conversation with, you know, maybe asking why are they blue and white? And then, you know, sharing that we're trying to fundraise for such a worthy cause, great organization, make wishes come true for children that need it most. And um, yeah, hopefully, you know, they'll then come to Duncan, show some love to make a wish and help grant wishes. Much prettier than having my face plastered on one of those. <laughs> <laughs> and then lose a competition, all of that. I do uh, want to share, too, that all yeah. of the money raised in Hawaii stays for our local kids. So come on down to Duncan, get your sweet treat, 
put your change in the canister at the register. There's so many wonderful ways. To and do. we're at Coppoli Commons right now, but give us a website where folks can find a, a location nearest them. Yep, they can just visit Duncan.com and look up Hawaii and we're there. And a little bit more about Make-A-Wish if you want to find out. Hawaii.wish.org. I love this reunion. Yeah. I know. Let's have a donut. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love Trini. Yeah, she she was she thought I said the god the uh, the grandmother. Oh, okay. At the beginning, but I said the godmother because she's you know she obviously she was one of the first hosts yes. on the show. So, but it's so nice to see now that she's done five years at Make a Wish, and they are making such a difference. Yeah, and so great to see both of them because yeah. um, Duncan, it's so cool that they mm -hmm. are giving back in this way. That's really neat. And the donut was really good, by the way. I bet. <laughs> and that's that's a sweet way to give to a great organization, but mm -hmm. also give to yourself because yes. you deserve it. Uh, it's yeah, Monday. Absolutely. Let's go eat those donuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>